All right, a TV news host epic ran against President Obama over the Chattanooga attacks going viral with over one million views in less than a week. Listen. Do I care that he seemed like an all-American young man? Do I care that he was good at mixed martial arts or a smart, quiet guy? Do I care that his high school friends wouldn't classify him as overly religious? No, I don't give a flying you-know-what about any of that. I care that this SOB killed four of our United States Marines, and I care that our Commander-in-Chief is more concerned with Muslim sensitivity than the honor and sacrifice made by these Marines. I've had it with this failed strategy, this halfway, half-baked, tiptoe, be friendly to jihadis mentality push by this administration be a leader someone wow uh, joining us right now is the host of one american news networks on point with tommy laren uh tommy thanks so much for joining us this morning getting up early out on the west coast first off why do you think this is resonating so clearly with america I tell you what I think it is. I think it's what every American is thinking. They just don't have the platform to say it. Everybody's busy in their daily lives, working hard, average hardworking Americans. They're thinking it in their minds. They're seeing it on TV. They're telling it to their friends and family. They're saying it at the dinner table. And I was just the one that came out and said it on a platform and it resonated. We see his background. We see his, we read his diaries. We hear about his rants. We find about his travels. It clearly is pointing to Islamic extremism. And you are saying it. Why isn't anyone else saying it, Tommy? That is a great question, and that's exactly why I wrote those final thoughts. I actually get up every morning. I actually watch Fox News. When I saw this happen in Chattanooga, it made me mad as hell. And that's what I was wondering is where is the leadership out of the White House? I don't care if you're a Republican, you're a Democrat, you're independent, you're black, white, Christian. I don't care. Come out, be a leader, stand in solidarity with our armed forces. That's an American thing to do, in right, my and, opinion. And, and, you know, and we, like, we got your opinion loud and clear. And guess what? Uh, your patriotism runs in your veins. Let's talk about your history just a little bit. And we have a picture of uh, some of your generations uh, that have served in the military. Tell me about them. First, your grandfather was in World War II, a Marine Corps paratrooper. Absolutely. Very proud of my grandpa. That's where it started. My uncle, Lacey Lahren, was a Vietnam vet, Purple Heart recipient. Both of my cousins are United States Marine Corps officers, and my boyfriend's actually serving our country right now uh, as a Navy SEAL currently deployed in the Middle East. So this is personal for me. And you told him, you're safer over there than you would be over here. Where does that come from? Honestly, I had this conversation with him the night before when I still had communication with him being deployed in the Middle East. And I said, did you hear about Chattanooga? And he said, yes, I heard some headlines. What's going on? And I told him, I said, honestly, we're here in San Diego. This is a military town. You're in the Middle East right now. And I fear that this same thing is going to happen in San Diego. And honestly, I am. I'm terrified of it. Well, listen, I, I love this line. You said to the president, be a leader. Uh, someone, they are the radical Islamists, have brought the fight right here to the red, white, and blue, and it's about time we bring it to them full force. You're not happy the way we're taking on ISIS. Sounds like your uh, boyfriend isn't either. Well, absolutely not. These are the most well-trained warriors on the face of the earth. They're going over to the Middle East right now with their hands tied. We're telling them they can be combat advisors. We're telling them, yes, we've given you the best training in the world, but we're not going to allow you to use it. You can't win a war by going halfway. You have to do all or nothing, because what we're doing right now, obviously, right. is a lack of strategy, and it's not working. So, Tommy, people are listening to you right now. They hear well-formed opinions, willing to back them up, and they're wondering where you get them at the age of 22. Where does that come from? You know what? It's an American patriotism. It's something that I was born with. I grew up in the Midwest. I grew up in South Dakota. My family is patriotic. I'm an everyday American. What I would like to get out there is that everyday Americans feel this way. Everyday 22-year-olds feel this way. I'm just the first one to say it on the platform that I did. And God bless America. I'm so glad that it's resonating. All right. And finally, where do we get your other uh, points uh, that we can pick up on your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel's gotten a lot of play. I've actually gotten a lot of play on Facebook as well. I am on One American News Network. We're an independent news network, a smaller network, but we have a large voice and it's growing and I'm glad to represent them. Again, um, along with One America, Fox News, we're the only ones that are saying these things and they need to be heard. All right, uh, Tommy Laren, thanks so much. I appreciate it and uh, best of luck in the future, but you won't need it. Thank you so much.